Rafa Nadal versus Hubi Hercatch is a blockbuster second round for the Rome Masters for 2024. And this is actually a first time meeting between these two superstars. Nadal enters the tournament 305 in the world with a win-loss record of six wins, three losses, including a fourth round appearance last week in Madrid. His best result though is still that quarterfinal at the start of the year that he made in Brisbane where he eventually lost to Thompson in a very close three-setter. His best win was against Demonor last week in Madrid, the number 11 in the world, getting some revenge over losing to Demonor a week earlier. And his worst loss, still that lost to Thompson, the number 55 in the world in Brisbane, again after having match points. His form though, has been great. Of course, making it to the fourth round last week in Madrid, winning three matches, including a long match against Cashin that went over three hours. So he's battle-hardened and ready to go against Hercatch. Hercatch comes into the tournament, number nine in the world, with a record of 23 wins and 10 losses. His best result was winning an Estoril on the clay to start the clay court season, beating Martinez in the final 6-3, 6-4, which was his first ever clay court title. However, his best win is against Umbea, who was 20 in the world at the time. This was at the Australian Open. So he's yet to beat a guy really at the top of the rankings in 2024. And his worst loss was at Indian Wells, where he lost to Monfils, who was number 54 at the time. His form, though, has been pretty good. Of course, he won Estoril, but the last couple of weeks, he has lost in the round of 16 in both Monte Carlo and Madrid. However, he did lose to Rude and Fritz, so it's not terrible losses. Those guys are very capable of winning on clay. These two guys, as I said at the start, have never played before. First time meeting between the two, which is really strange, considering that Rafa has only been injured for the last year, and Hercatch has been at the top of the game for the last four years or three years at least, so never crossing paths, not even on a hard court. It's kind of strange. Rafa's gonna win this one. He needs to get off to a good start. He can't play long, long matches like he did in Madrid. Of course, when he got to Lehechka after playing a three-hour match, he did run out of gas. He's also gonna be a little bit more attacking, I think, as well. Once he gets the serve back, if he can get it back from Hercatch, try and push Hercatch back to play more defensive, so he doesn't get attacked like he did against Lehechka last week. If Hercatch is gonna win this one, he needs to be aggressive. I know that Clay does slow everything down, his serve's not gonna be as aggressive as it could be, or as potent as it could be, but he has to play aggressive still. Otherwise, Rafa is just gonna chop him up, as we've seen Rafa do over the last couple of weeks to some really good guys. So, he's gotta be aggressive, Hercatch, which is kind of against his nature. He usually likes to defend one of those kind of like tall defenders. Really excited for this one. When the draw came out, we saw this could be possible, and it is. I'm going to go Rafa in this one in three sets. I'm going to believe in the dream. I reckon on the court surface and being on the clay, I reckon it gives Rafa a little edge, and I reckon he can get the serve back. Her catch might get a little frustrated, especially if the crowd get on Rafa's side, but let me know down in the comments below who's winning this blockbuster.